In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we'd like to show you how you can copy a project file and all its related resources to a location of your choice. This may be something you use when you want to archive a complete project or if you want to transfer it to removable media to move it from one location or one computer to another or if you want to transfer it to online storage. Why can't you simply copy the PDS file that PowerDirector creates? That's a good question. Well, if you look inside a PDS file, this is what you see. I opened this with Notepad, and basically it is a host of instructions. It's a blueprint for rendering the file as a true video file. And obviously, if all you do is copy the blueprint or instructions, that's inadequate we need to copy all the resources that it's relied on. Now in this case I have six different videos. I have an audio file. I have other elements that I put in here including a transition and I have some beat detection markers on my project at the very top. So how do I make sure I copy everything? Now one thing you need to remember is it will go looking for the location of all these elements and it will transfer everything into a single folder. How do you make that happen? Well, it's pretty simple. You click on the file menu at the very top and then you click on the pack project materials option. Let's do that now. That takes me to my file system and once I'm there I can pick the location where I want to go to store it. Now I have picked a subfolder called storage. I recommend that when you're doing this that you create subfolders so each project is unique and they're not blended together. So I'm going to click on new folder and I'll just do my test and press enter and now that will become the folder of choice. There's another option you need to choose if you want to do this. If you notice at the bottom, on the lower right, it says include unused clips. If you have clips in, and content in your media room that's not actually in the timeline, you want to have this box checked. Otherwise, it will exclude that. But if you perhaps you want those elements there and you haven't used them yet, and you want to use them for future editing, you would definitely want to click the box. I'll click it in this case because I have one video that fits that qualification. So I'm going to click on the Select Folder button in the lower right corner. Immediately I'll see the dialog box come up and it will go ahead and save everything looking for the original source and copy it to the folder that I have chosen. And then when it's done I can get back to my project as it was. But now I know that everything is copied to one location. Now I've opened my location and here's the folder where we copied all the information to. Let's see what happens when we go into it. Now we see some things we expect and some things we don't expect. I have my instruction, my PDS file that PowerDirector creates. I have my audio file. Now in this case I gave the audio file an alias. The PDS instructions will remember the alias but it goes back and it finds the original file with the original name and pulls that into this file folder. I also have a couple things I didn't expect. What's 01 and 43 dash circle ping? These happen to be elements that I used when I did some masking. I had custom masks and these are the custom masks that are now stored as a copy here in this folder so it can reference them in case I have changed them elsewhere. So anything customized that you've used that's in your project it will take a copy of those user created elements and pull them into the file as well. If I want to edit the copied project all I need to do is navigate to this folder wherever I've stored it and double click on my PDS file, which is my PowerDirector instruction file, that will open up PowerDirector. Now one thing I need to remember when I've done this is that all these resources that I have exist in my packed folder. If I right click on any of the videos, for example, and I look for the option that tells me open file location, it goes right back 
to the My Test area. So that's where the files are. If I do editing on the contents of a packed folder, when I'm done, if I want to transfer that somewhere else, if I pulled in anything else that's not in the folder or made any other essential changes, I need to repack the file into a different folder before I move it back somewhere else. That's the safest way in which to make sure you don't lose anything because I'm not editing the original, I'm editing all the copies that I found in the packed folder. So if you're going back and forth between several locations, when you're done editing, repack the file, give it another file name in a different folder and where you can tell it's the latest version and then you can transmit that folder somewhere else to use in future editing. But those are some tips on how to take and either archive or move a file and all its contents in PowerDirector so that you can work with it elsewhere.